Hi guys, very good evening to all of you. Uh, my name is Ajay Pramar and uh, today I have brought uh, another Excel VBA video and this is going to be advanced level video where we are going to make a function, a user defined function, UDF function and to count the uh, specific numbers in a specific pattern. So you're watching youtube.com slash C slash Ajay Kumar Pramar and this is the video number 600. Now let's talk about today's uh, this uh, the query I received from one of my subscribers. Now, Satish actually emailed me a couple of days back and this is what he has said. I have been looking for a formula in Excel that can do the job for me. And uh, so he has given me all this format. So I'll directly show you what he has written. Uh, this is a little bit complicated situation. That's why I've used the VBA function for this. Okay. So now what he's saying is he has some numbers like this. So these numbers uh, have either comma you know, uh, every time when a new number starts, they have the comma or the hyphen. Now, so he's saying that he wants to count these numbers, but there are conditions. The condition is that if there is a comma, then it has to be considered as one, the number before the comma. And if there is a hyphen, then we should have the counting starting from that number to the last number. For example, if you look at this one comma two comma 33 dash 34, now one comma two comma, this is going to be considered as one one. So that means if you have one here, if you have two here, and then you have 33 to 34, right? If you just go and split these uh, numbers, this is how you will have these numbers. So he's saying that this is a single number. So this should be considered as one. This is again a single number because it is using the comma. This should be one, but this should not be one because we have a dash here, hyphen here. So this is 33 and 34. How many numbers we have? Two guys. So what should be the count? Two, three, four. And this is what exactly you're getting. And I'm using here total count formula. This is not an Excel formula. This is a VBA formula. I created it, okay? Now, if you look at this here, one comma two dash five. So that means one is unique. So that's gonna be considered as one and two to five then. So two, three, four, five. How many numbers we have got? Four, four plus one, five, right? So same way if you come here, this is my first number guys. This is my first number and then three, four, five, six, seven, right? So you got here five numbers. So five plus one, six. And then in the six, you further go. So four to 10, four to seven, 10 is going to make seven numbers. Three to 10 is going to make eight numbers, right? This is the idea. And that's how, that's how we have developed this. So it's a very complicated thing. I uh, better, you know, you go and write the VP program instead of the creating a Excel formula here. Okay. So now what I'm doing is I created this total count function. So what it does, you just go and select this, you know, write this total count and go and, you know, select this and press enter. And that's how the calculation will happen. Okay. So if let's say I go and write here one comma two comma three comma four, then, or maybe let's say five, then six, you know, so what would be the answer guys? Obviously you don't have any dash here. So if there is no dash, then these all numbers are going to be counted as one 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 so ultimately the answer should come as six isn't it you can see here it's coming here six okay and if just in case if i write here one hyphen ten then your answer should come what so you got the error now why you got the error it's pretty simple when you go and write here you know one to ten so what happens your excel is going to consider this as a date and when you have it a date basically in the date you know the dates are not stored as number okay uh, dates are stored as number so if if you just go to the uh, the general type of this there is no actually uh, if i just click here this is a date number right because excel stores the dates as number so in that case when there is no hyphen there is no dash you know so this formula is not gonna work right so what you can do is maybe you can put that if the error comes then just go and write here zero okay but the idea is i'm going to tell you the situation what if you want to actually enter one to 10 and you want that this should not be entered as a date because right now if you press enter, this is going to be considered as a date, right? 10th of January. So better you do one thing, you put the apostrophe here and say one to 10, right? When you put the apostrophe, what happens? Excel will not treat this as a number and it will not go and try to change this to a number. Okay, because dates are numbers. So when you enter like this, you see that you got the number one to 10. So if you start counting one to 10, obviously, you know, the 10 numbers are there. So this is something you need to take care of it. Okay. And if you already have got the numbers uh, in that, you know, I mean, if, if you're, let's say, uh, you, you do not want to put this apostrophe, then maybe perhaps you can go and change the formatting to the text. 
okay uh, for example if i go here in the single cell uh, or maybe i want to enter here these numbers that just select that range and make sure that you have that you know the text here so i go and use the text formatting here so let's say i you know selected all these numbers under the text formatting now i go and say 1 hyphen 10 you see that it's gonna work guys so you say 22 10 it's not going to enter here 20th october or whatever right because the numbers are entered as text so this is another solution so this is all something i wanted to tell you so that you shouldn't have any problem now let's go to the code now assuming that so this is a i mean solution for this but right now i just go and you know uh, put this back this one two three and you have the answer now what is happening is what i've done is i created an array guys okay look at this this is my function so what i'm doing is i created here store variable final score score and this is my uh, first val this is my last val variable you can pause the video and you can write this this is a very simple code i'll just give to quickly give you the idea now what what is happening i'm trying to split all these i'm kind of using the text to column now in the text to column you know uh, uh, the, what text to column does is we all know it splits the numbers so i'm splitting one two and three or whatever you know whatever cell i choose in this formula okay so in this case what happens one comma two comma three i'm gonna split it in the form of array so split is a function which does the job so you have the all the numbers split here then what i'm doing is i'm trying to find out that if this one or this two or this three has anywhere hyphen sign coming then go and do something and if it is not having any hyphen sign then count them as one okay for example in this case one colon two to five what we are doing is i'm saying that one is here and two to five is here you know like this so this is how the array is going to work on this so i'm saying that if the hyphen comes so how we are going to find out whether the hyphen is there obviously you are going to find out the position you're going to find out the position of hyphen using the find function in vba if the hyphen comes we are going to extract the left side of the you know this value then that will give me two and then you're going to use the mid function you say that mid go and find out the position of first hyphen and then immediately go after the you know the very first character coming after this hyphen and then pull out the 10 20 numbers because after the hyphen i want all the number so the idea is we are going to you know separate two and five and then we will say that five minus two plus one because you want to include two as well that is the logic guys we are using okay so i'll show you this look at this what happens let me show you this number because this has contained comma and as well as hyphen so when you say total count e4 select the e4 press enter this my text is going to take that value from the excel okay now what is happening is i'm saying split function please split this one comma two to five using the comma separator so when i run this what happens if you go and put the watch code here you will have the array created now you got to be very strong in arrays right and arrays are one of my favorite functionality in vba whether it is access vba or excel vba terrific so you got the array split now i got the two position obviously you can see one and two comma uh, two hyphen five okay so now i'm saying that i have to run this you know loop one by one how many times two times basically because first i will go and check this value whether this has contained hyphen sign or not and then i will go and check this so i'm using the lower bound and the upper bound function you got to be good in arrays to understand this video otherwise you can go and check the excel vba playlist arrays okay excel vba arrays is a playlist now this loop is going to run from zero to one time so it is going to run zero to one time making sure that we are running the loop you know two times so now i'm saying that if my this value the first value which is i you know i is zero i say that if this value which is right now one if it if it contains hyphen i'm using the like operator before this you know hyphen star after this star so if it is the case then what has to what it has to do we will go and check that but right now you know it doesn't contain any hyphen so what happens it goes in the else mode and here this final score which is totally empty i'm just going to add one constant to it zero plus one so that means this is going to be counted as one and this is what he wanted it right satish wanted it so now let's go to the next eye now the next eye obviously is going to be the two to five so now this contains hyphen so you can see i get in the then mode now here what i'm doing is i'm saying that I'm using the left function in VBA so from the left I you know of this 2 to 5 I need the values before the hyphen so what I'm doing is I'm finding out this 
the find you know I'm, I'm finding out this hyphen in this two to five and I'm starting from first position so obviously what will happen you guys must be knowing the find function it's a very simple function in Excel so the same way it works in VBA so this find is going to pull out the position of this hyphen which is going to be two right so what we are doing is we are saying two minus one because I don't need the hyphen so two minus one means that you are actually saying that from the left extract one cell one value okay so you will have the first value coming here too okay same way I'm using the mid function I'm saying that in this two to five let's go and start this but from where you want to start obviously I want to start you know the very next character after the first hyphen so you go and first find out this hyphen using the you know find function find will return the position of hyphen and then you are what you're doing you're just adding plus one to it so that it should go to this five and from five I've written here ten because I believe this number can be maybe let's say uh, well ten is not a I mean ten is a very big number but you just keep this extra buffer basically I want to you know extract the entire number maybe it is two two dash two fifty five so in that case you need two here right if it is triple five you need three characters if it is four times five six times five who knows so I'm keeping ten because I don't think so the number would be greater than this so finally you will have your five coming here simple I'm just using the Excel, Excel skill right so now then we are subtracting this uh, five minus two and then plus one so finally you will have the four right so once you have the four I'm creating another variable I'm saying now the final score equals to final score plus score right so what is happening you remember the final score from the previous code also it is also because we have to add the previous count also you know so that's why I'm using this final score in the then mode also and in the else as well so the previous one is going to be added to this score which is four the you know the difference between five and two including the two so you have your answer as five now finally the loop is done and your function as a rule we always write the function in equals to final score so you have the answer here as five as simple as that guys right so when you go and run this for example over here where we don't have the hyphen you press enter so finally you have here one two three so you you will have the split in this way look at this this is how your split is done one two and three right so this will quickly go in the else mode right so the loop is supposed to run 0 to 2 times that means 0 1 2 3 times we are going to run the loop but now the point is this does not have any hyphen so then part will not be executed so every time it goes in the else mode now I have a final score which is obviously empty right now I'm running this code so final score is going to be added as 1 because we didn't find any hyphen here so this should be counted as 1 only right and then next time now again the second time I have a value called 2 this does not include hyphen either so I have this again added so previous final score plus 1 is going to make it 2 so we are you know adding we are carry forwarding the previous values out so that's why I've written here final score equals to final score plus 1 and finally then you have a another number which again does not contain hyphen so it has to be counted as 1 and we go in the else mode and that's it guys right so finally your loop is done because I was supposed to run this three times and then you write total count equals to final score which is going to come as three so this is how guys you can make this function okay so I'm uh, right now you pause the video and you can note it down I have used here left function mid function and then the find function as well but the special part is that how you basically split all these things okay using the split and then taking all those values in the array so same way when you go and write this you know this is also you can see here it's showing me as 30 so every hyphen 3 to 7 is going to be you know uh, split in 3 and 7 7 minus 3 will happen and plus 1 will be added then in the 4 hyphen 10 4 will be split 10 will be split 10 minus 4 plus 1 then you know 10 minus 3 plus 1 and blah 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 I mean this is how your function will run so when you press enter this is how it is going to work and the good part about the function is that it can work on any sheet so maybe if you let's say have here a number called um, 7 uh, to 8 and then comma 7 and then let's say 6 okay so you can use here this function total count and then just go and select this so I guess uh, what should be the answer guys 7 to 8 that means 2 and then 7 is a single number 6 is a single number so I think the answer should come as um, 2 plus 1 plus 1 4 there we go right see how intelligent I am right so <laughs> that's how guys this is how you write this pretty awesome function right the exercise was pretty tough actually but uh, I think uh, 
the, with the VBA it becomes very easy so that's it for now guys I hope you enjoyed this video so let me know if there is any question and I'm gonna answer your the questions just leave your question on the comment section thank you so much bye bye